Hello, hello, welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at you, Capricorn. We're gonna be looking at what your partner or your ex would like to say to you. This could be past, present, or future energy. We'll see what energy decides to join us today. If you are here, you have not done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I just hit 100 subscribers and I'm so excited. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Okay, let's get into it, Capricorn. Let's see what the current energy is between you and your person. We have let your friends help you. It is safe for you to love in codependency. Some of you are in a relationship that you're feeling stuck that you can't get out of. And you may need a little help here. There's a devil here. There's something that you need to release here. And with this, let your friends help you. You could be sitting in the energy of the Four of Cups, not really wanting to accept whatever love is being offered to you at this time, but it's saying it is safe for you to love. It's asking you to open your heart and to give and receive the highest energy of it all. So let's go in and find out a little more information about what's going on here. Clearing confused messages for Capricorn, please. Clearing concise messages for Capricorn. You have poker face. Poker Face talks about you guys having options, taking some type of risk, taking a chance with something. You have the Hammer card. After some type of sabotage, having to rebuild yourself, persistently working on something. And we have the Chaser card. On the bottom of the deck, we have Mask. When the Mask card comes out, guys, this can indicate um, an energy of someone hiding something from you. It can indicate someone not being truthful about, you know, their real feelings about something. Someone could be pretending, um, just trying to get over on you in some way. This is also um, narcissistic energy at times. And then with this codependency being here and the chaser card, guys, I feel like you guys are running. Um, either this is your energy or your person's energy. Um, either you are chasing after someone or someone is chasing after you. But it looks like you are persistently trying to um, take a chance here and run towards someone. Let's get more information. How does Capricorn feel about their person? How does Capricorn feel about their person spirit? Two of Cups. How does Capricorn feel about this person? High Priestess wanted to come out, guys. How does Capricorn feel about this person? Queen of Cups. Oh, guys, you have a spiritual connection with this person. A deep spiritual tie here. And the Seven of Wands. You're fighting for this person, guys. Why are you fighting so hard? You guys are fighting with the Seven of Wands. Have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. You're fighting for this and you're running after this very passionately with this Knight of Swords. But is this person showing you what they need to show you? I don't know. I'm not getting that energy here. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse here. Are you fighting for something that you probably should just let go here, Cap? I feel like intuitively though, Capricorn, you guys know that whoever you are connecting with at this time, that they're not going to... You know, you're, there's no future there. This is something that you shouldn't work on. But for whatever reason, you feel drawn to this person because there's some type of spiritual connection here. 
But the truth is, I think you know that you guys don't get along well and that you guys just aren't meant to be together with this Three of Pentacles here in reverse and the star in reverse. All right, Kat, let's see how your person feels about you. So this chaser card could be your person trying to come back and rebuild with you. And as I say that, guys, look, it's the Ten of Cups here. How does this person feel about Cap? Hangman, you guys may have blocked this person or cut, off, cut them off or took back your energy in some way. And they are devastated. The Ten of Swords in reverse. They are paralyzed at this ending, you cut them off, but they, they love you very much. And I have the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. They are going to um, try to pursue this, this love. There's that Two of Cups came back out. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords, the King of Cups in reverse, and the Two of Pentacles. I think this person is trapped in their head about you guys, Capricorn. They're trying to figure out why you don't feel the same way about them. They're trying to reconcile that in their mind. Um, this person does have some self-esteem issues here with this Eight of Swords being here. This person may often live in a fantasy world, but this person isn't dealing with the things that they need to deal with as far as like emotionally and the fact that you have cut them off. They are very persistent here um, and trying to pursue you and they don't want to give up. The Nine of Wands is on the bottom of the deck, but they are scared with this moon card here. And if you guys have cut this person off, they are wanting to reach out to you here with this Eight of Wands. They want some type of change. They want movement in the connection. Okay, let's see a possible outcome between Capricorn and this person. And you guys, this card, I thought I kept seeing this card. This card has been turned around in the last couple of shuffles. It is the Three of Swords in reverse. I think you guys have had a change of heart about this person. I think that there was love there at one time. But again, Capricorn, I feel like you are you have moved on with that Three of Swords being in reverse. I have the Queen of Cups, the Emperor. This card is turned around. All of these cards are turned around. We have the Page of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Hermit, the Six of Cups in reverse, and the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this Queen of Cups and this Emperor, this is you and your person. And I think you guys have made a decision here with this page of wands, the sword is up. A decision has been made about this connection. And I think you guys are moving on. I think you're moving on to the next phase here. And you've taken back your energy from this person with the hermit because things were bad for whatever reason in your connection. And I think you guys are seeking out something new with this ace of cups here. You're not forgiving this person and you don't see a future here. Anything else? We have the King of Wands and the Four of Swords. You guys definitely have withdrawn your energy from this person and the Five of Cups. It's over. This person may be coming in with an apology, guys. They may be coming in trying to work on things because this is the separation has been very hard for them. They have been stuck in a, in a state of feeling like they are not going to give up. They're not giving up, Cap. I can tell you that they're not giving up. You have the hammer card here. This is about being persistent. I am determined that I'm going to rebuild this. And then combined with this five of swords, this person isn't going to go away so easily, Capricorn. Here they go on the bottom of the deck. They are going to fight for this. They are going to fight for this. Okay, Cap. All right, let's 
get some messages from your person. We get messages for Capricorn, please. From this person, messages from Capricorn. We have, I look for you everywhere. I am afraid to contact you. So this person could be like checking your social media. They may be out in public, going to places that you guys, they know that you normally go to so that they can maybe run into you, but they are afraid to just actually like reach out to you in the way that they, you know, they used to in the past for whatever reason. I have, I don't know why this happened. They are, there's some confusion with that card. They, maybe they're not sure why you cut them off. I'm not sure either, but you cut them off. Messages from this person, please. We don't share the same values. There could be some differences and maybe you guys were arguing in the course of the relationship. Maybe there were some things that you guys just couldn't settle. And maybe you gave up on it, Cap. Maybe you, you know, you just said we will never see eye to eye. It says you let me down. They're blaming you, Capricorn. They're saying that you let them down. So this is all your fault, <laughs> according to this person. I'm not financially stable. They could be having some type of money issues at this time. I saved your texts and messages. Messages for Capricorn. Something flipped, guys. Let's see. Okay, it didn't. It flipped back. Okay. Messages for Capricorn. You didn't see my tears. I wish things could be different. I hid who I really am from you. I wish I could take back my my words. I won't let you down. I can't get enough of you. On the bottom of the deck is I find you so attractive. Okay, this person is low-key obsessed with you, Capricorn. I guess got an energy that they are very desperate. Like, they'll do anything, like I said, with that Five of Swords and that Hammer card coming out. They they want this, and they want this really badly. They are hurt. They are crying, but they are blaming you for whatever is going on in the connection at this time. And they do want a change. They want. They wish that things could be different here. Let's get a few more messages. Any other messages for Capricorn? I'll put in more effort. That's still, I'm going to try harder. I'll do more. Messages for Capricorn. I'm ready now. They're telling you that they're ready now. Not sure what that's about. Maybe you guys um, were trying to figure out some things. Like I said, with this, we don't share the same values card. You know, maybe there were some disagreements that were holding you back from like moving on to the next step in the connection. I want you to sleep over. <laughs> they want you to come over for a sleepover. Maybe this was something that you guys did often and they missed that. I lied because I couldn't face the truth. They lied because they couldn't face the truth. Messages. Okay, more messages. You hurt me to the core. They are they are mad at you, Cap. When I close my eyes, I can feel your soul. That's that spiritual connection that came out earlier. You guys are possibly soulmates. I've matured and I will do better. This person is pleading here with you, Capricorn. Please stop. This is probably telling you to stop avoiding them. Stop this madness. Take me back. <laughs> this person is dramatic as hell. Can we meet soon is on the bottom of the deck, guys. So this person is one of you. 
They're wanting to see you. They're hoping they run into you at uh, the grocery store, Walmart. <laughs> but um, they want you to come over and stay tonight. But I don't think you're interested, Cap. All right, guys, if you are still here and you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video and the message resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up. Capricorn, that's been your reading. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will catch you on your next read.